Massive flooding has devastated parts of South Asia, especially in northeastern India and Bangladesh. In the northeastern state of Assam in India, around 113 deaths have been reported so far. While most of these are because of the floods, around 20 were caused by rain-triggered landslides. In Bangladesh, meanwhile, nearly 60 have died. Overall, millions have been affected in these regions. The floods are more or less an annual affair and have badly hit the response to COVID-19 in Assam. As of July 21st, there are more than 25,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Assam. The flooding that started in May has also wreaked havoc in the Indian state of Bihar as well as parts of Nepal. Reports have indicated that a third of Bangladesh is underwater. Over 7 million people in Assam and 1.5 million people in Bangladesh have been affected. Experts claim that the situation is expected to get worse as monsoon winds will be approaching the region in the coming days. Assam flood situation is very uh, grave at this moment and almost 6, 70 lakhs people have been affected and uh, more than 24 districts uh, of the state has been affected by the flood and Assam has 33 districts and out of 33, 24 districts are badly affected. Uh, among the badly affected, uh, the worst situation is in Gualpara district <coughs> and almost uh, 80 deaths have been reported uh, as of now. Uh, and it is expected that uh, the rain will continue for uh, some more days and uh, hence <coughs> the situation uh, will worsen. Uh, regarding Assam flood, what uh, we need to look at it is from the perspective of scientific management of the river system. Um, Assam flood is not new. It dates back to the days of uh, colonial period uh, and after that it uh, but but uh, but uh, uh, since a decade the Assam flood has taken its most worst phase. Uh, because of the uh, large scale uh, dams that have been built and there are uh, mismanagement on part of the rivers uh, and uh, see that there are dams over in Runachal which is actually uh, if you see the map it uh, just lies above Assam and when there is a lot of uh, rain and uh, water accumulates to a very high level then the dams are opened and it comes down directly through Brahmaputra and inundates uh, the plains in Assam. So that has become one of the most important issue. The uh, second thing is uh, now the flood carries uh, a lot of slits. These slits actually damages the crop fields uh, and people are uh, badly affected and also there is an issue of uh, 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 submersion of huge areas. Uh, many villages, many uh, uh, townships have gone uh, into the water of Brahmaputra and uh, people have to migrate from one place to other in that sense. So it's uh, getting worse and uh, this time uh, I think uh, for the last 15 years uh, in 2020 Assam is witnessing the worst flood. According to an Indian Central Water Commission bulletin, most rivers in the state continue to be in spate. The Brahmaputra, one of the largest rivers in the Indian subcontinent, is the main contributor to the floods and has been running above the danger mark for months now. In an alert on July 21st, the Central Water Commission said that the water level in Brahmaputra is expected to rise even more. The river had burst its bank two weeks ago, swamping more than 2,500 villages in India. Golpara is the worst hit district in Assam, with over 453,000 people affected, followed by 344,000 people in Barpeta and 341,000 people in Morikau. Over 50,000 people who were displaced by floods have taken shelter at 521 relief camps. According to reports, wildlife is also facing a serious threat in Assam as the Kaziranga National Park is completely flooded. The park is a UNESCO heritage site and it has the largest concentration of single horned rhinoceros as well as other animals. <laughs> Avanza,